Hi guys, good morning. I haven't filmed a morning vlog in a while. I was gonna do a morning routine. Hold on. Let's start from the beginning. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Good morning. It's now 10.08 a.m. I was gonna vlog today. It was gonna be a day in my life. That felt very repetitive. You know, I feel like all of them are the same, more or less. The one thing that I can say is different every day is my morning. Let me take this headband off because I look crazy. For my mornings, they're all different. Will I wake up at 8 or will I wake up at 9? Will I go out and get coffee? Will I make coffee? Am I gonna go to the gym today? Or am I not gonna go to the gym today? You know, I don't have a set morning routine. I'm gonna go shower and wash my hair, but I don't do that every morning. My mornings are different, so I thought to take you along with this one. One, because I'm doing my hair today and everyone is asking for a hair routine and how I style it and everything. So finally, I'm gonna be able to give it to you guys. If you saw this morning, my cold brew was frozen. Does that mean it's old or does that mean to go bad? I don't know. So I went to Dunkin'. I really wanted something warm because it's freezing out and inside. So I got my usual. This is just a cold brew, almond milk, French vanilla. Not their best today. But I wanted to get a chai. But I didn't know if I was going to like it. That's why I got that. So I want to try it. And I'll see if I like I mean, I've had chai before. I know I like it. But I haven't had it in a while. Especially a hot drink. You know, you never know what you're going to get when you order coffee at places. But I wasn't planning on buying coffee today. And I ended up buying two. I don't really like that. But I feel like the chais were more sweet. I didn't get a vanilla chai. Is that what people usually get? I don't know. I went to Dunkin' because it has a drive through The Starbucks near me doesn't. And I'm still in my pajamas. I have a lot to do today. My morning routine, though, I don't. So, like, my mornings, I try to take low key, kind of slow. Because it's like my favorite time of the day before I like get started on literally anything. I have a lot to do today. I'm gonna go wash my hair. I'm going on day six hair which is very questionable for me because I usually go like four days. I don't know how this happened. Tomorrow will be a week. I think my hair's gotten more like dry after like dyeing it for the first time or bleaching it for the first time because it's not as greasy as it usually is. I mean I use the dry shampoo. I'll show you what I use but crazy. microfiber towel after the shower doesn't damage your hair and it helps make it like dry without breaking it you know like a towel's like rough so we're gonna get into my hair care skincare now i decided to put skincare in here as well because i may not have a morning routine but i'm trying to have a routine skincare hair care wise i've gotten like the hair care down geology it's like perfect because they give you a morning and a night routine so like i don't have to think about what i need to buy my skin personally it's been through the ringer i have a scar here i have random breakouts and i think it's the weather and my skin has also been really dry and my hair to be honest the geology products just make it easier with the routine and just like what it's for and all the ingredients and stuff like it makes me feel good and also a simple but effective routine helps keep your skin looking its best by fighting signs of aging and brightening dull skin especially at our age i feel like our age like we're all the same age but i feel like at my age especially i'm trying to prevent any signs of aging and anything in the future like i want my skin to look good when i'm older so basically the night cream with retinol fights aging acne and oily skin firming wrinkles and preventing breakouts and then the eye cream fights dark circles puffiness and eye bags and it's made with ingredients to wake up tired looking eyes which is perfect I didn't put it on this morning, but I feel like maybe in the mornings I should start using it I'm using it at night and with the skincare Like I said, I, there's a morning and a night routine and it all just like helps and makes sense and makes it so much easier Because I don't know anything about skincare and I just need to be like told what to do my hair Like I said, it's like on the drier side right now because of the weather and the bleach and whatnot I try to take care of it so much. So for hair care geology the co-wash it's brand new It's been helping so much when I do use it It's like gets me like, a deeper clean and it's so easy to use It's their new custom control hair care line and it's their brand new co-wash which which a co-wash it's specifically formulated cream cleanser that removes buildup and cleanses the hair without the big lather harsh ingredients or stripping natural oils which is amazing it's color safe and effective on all skins and hair types and helps me have consistent hair days so to use the co-wash you put it on your scalp to your roots you leave it in for like a minute and then you add some water to your hands and you kind of massage it in and it literally takes two seconds it's so easy it gets a deep clean and i feel like especially right now i've been going a longer time without washing my hair so when i need to use that when i go longer days it's perfect you guys can click the link below or head to geology.com and use code sarah70 and take their free skin and hair diagnostic to get 30% off the co-wash and just for you guys they're also throwing in 70% off a skincare trial to celebrate again that's geology.com or click the link below to save 30% off the co-wash and 70% off on your 30-day skincare trial the quiz is super fun too it's very personalized highly recommend everything's in the description now on to styling my hair because that is like the biggest question i get and i think i've perfected it if you want me to be completely honest i want to get a dice in for my hair but i'm not at that stage of my life yet i do think about it but i don't know 
it. I also look insane talking to you guys with the towel on my head, but I'm sorry. Guys, I also use this scar cream. If you have any scars, like I have one on my face and my wrist. It's Derma E Scar Gel. It is actually life-changing. And this isn't sponsored like at all. This is just like the best scar gel ever. 20 something dollars at Ulta. Highly recommend. If you have any type of scars, like it literally gone down so much. First thing I do is I brush my hair. I always brush it before my shower too. And I'm always cleaning my brush. I used to never clean my brush clean your brushes oh my god my hair smells so good that geology like co-wash stuff i've been using it for a little and it literally makes my hair feel i mean smell like incredible i don't know what the scent is but it's so good okay so with the geology thing like i said i use that when my hair is like super dirty and i feel like i need that extra clean if not i'm using olaplex shampoo and conditioner i shampoo twice with that and then condition that's like my normal if i have to wash my hair and stuff hair mask i use like once a week maybe like once every two weeks i don't know the name of it i don't know how to say the brand but i'll put it here and that is so good you guys need it like right now the olaplex hair oil highly recommend as well this thing is just phenomenal but you need a heat protectant if you're putting heat on your hair use a heat protectant i put the olaplex in when my hair is wet just so that while it's air drying it's not getting like really frizzy and then i use it again after i blow out my hair which we're about to do right now it's 11 o'clock we have an hour until the morning is officially over i'm starting work very late today because i don't have anything to edit until later if i did have something to edit i would have been up way earlier because that takes so long uh, i'm gonna go read and i'll come back when we do my hair oh i also want to show you guys my fall staple pieces because i've gotten a lot recently and i got a few questions about doing some like clothing stuff because people have asked stay tuned was gonna wait longer but I got impatient. Sometimes I let it air dry, sometimes I won't. Today's not one of those days. This is the dry shampoo I use though. This is the brand. It's the Volume and Fullness Dry Shampoo. It works so well. This is my hair before styling it. It is frizzy. It used to not be frizzy at all, so I'm gonna sit here and complain and say that it was from bleaching my hair. I used to have like silky hair, but this thing works wonders. It's literally magical. This is the dry bar round brush thing. I don't use it often. I use it like once a week when I do my hair, like style it. I also always clean it out. This thing can burn and like then burn your hair. This is where a little bit of the skill comes in. I'm more of a visual learner. I'll explain it and then I'm just gonna do it run the brush through the hair just to make sure it's like completely dry so i'll go under it and brush over it like just like this and then i'll section into like little sections go behind it away from the hair brush it down roll it up hold it there and then i unwind it like this and i twist and pull into this little motion and it like ends up kind of twirling a little confusing but you'll see when i do it okay
skin again. This is what it looks like right after. Usually this is where I stop. I don't curl my hair every day. I usually curl it when I have like something to do. I don't know what magic is in this. It makes my hair look so good. And then usually I'll put Olaplex oil after that, but I'm gonna curl it. I'm gonna take a break, I'm gonna go eat, and then I'll show you how I curl it. This is the curling wand I use. It's the Ion, quarter and an inch. It looks like this. And I put it on 350. The floor is a mess. This is always my aftermath, and I just get too lazy to put anything away, so. first i'll take a section of hair clamp always in the front i'll say it first and then i'll do it if you're a visual learner you could just watch go towards the top but not all the way clamp it go down a little away from the hair clamp in the front hold it there for a couple seconds after that you go down with the curling wand until the hair is out of it go down again curl back up till the clamp is in the front clamp always in the front and then do that again down around and there's like a little bit out of it when you're done just pull down like this and that's what it looks like that kind of curl from my hairdresser i watched her do it and i kind of like came home and practiced and that's how i kind of figured it out i also have a hair appointment in two days i want to change the shade of the color in my hair because it grew out and i'm like i don't really like the shade that it is right now i was gonna go ginger because everyone and their mother is and it looks so beautiful but i'm kind of scared now that was my original plan but now i don't know so stay tuned could be literally anything looks like after it's curled very funky but when i'm done obviously we're gonna brush it out i'm gonna do this side of my head i'll be back show you the final final look i just realized that this side could be confusing so if you want to know how to do the left side of your head it's basically the same thing clamp is always in the front go down and around till the clamp is back in the front and then release it go down and around again like this and then you just pull it out one side is definitely easier for me which i feel like is the right side it's basically the same thing you just have to like get used to it and then once you like know the motion kind of like a muscle memory type of thing this is the aftermath of what it looks like i'm gonna let it cool down before i brush it out while that's happening i'm gonna show you my makeup products i don't want to do my makeup today is that okay guys if i don't do it but show you the products every day this is what i use i don't really wear face makeup but we'll start with my everyday okay eyebrow pencil l'oreal brow stylist shape and fill i get the color dark brunette it's literally a dupe for the brow definer and then i I use the clear brow gel. Oh no, the clear mascara. Maybelline? Yes. Perfect. Perfect combo. My favorite thing ever. I asked you guys on TikTok a while ago and you guys said NYX and I will not go back. I need to get a sharpener for them, but lip pencil in Peekaboo Neutral and Ever. Peekaboo Neutral and Pillow Talk are like the same colors and then Ever and the Medium 2 Pillow Talk. And these are my two favorite colors from Charlotte Tilbury. The NYX colors, highly recommend. And that's like my everyday. I do brows, lip, and I have extensions, but I'm getting them filled tomorrow. So you can't see them. I'm gonna put this on my face today. The other stuff I'm about to show you not putting on flawless filter charlotte tilbury in 4.5 a little bit dark for me right now because this is from summer but i still use it best concealer ever kosis or neutral literally so good and then i use the charlotte tilbury the contour wand with the brush that it comes with and then glossier cloud paint in beam i've been using this for literally forever i love cream products this is like my favorite and then i use an old palette to like bronze and stuff but that's basically what i use simple products but like very efficient so i'm gonna put this stuff on and then we'll brush out my hair and i'll show you what it looks like my hair i'm gonna flip my head over put it all together and flip it back up are you ready 
Honestly, this might have been the best I've ever curled my hair. This is what it looks like after. I hope this helped at least one person that's asked for my hair routine. That's all I got for my hair, my makeup, my skincare. I'm gonna go clean my room and read a little. And then I'm gonna show you my fall staple pieces because I had some questions about my fall clothes and I have some good sweaters. I highly recommend. And I got a new jacket that I'm obsessed with. So also got these headphones. People ask for if I think they're worth it. I hate to be that person, but they are. I don't take them off. I walk around the house in them. I'm obsessed with them. If you wear headphones, I think that they're worth it. If you don't wear headphones, maybe you want to get into it. I don't recommend spending this much money on headphones, but I wear them to edit. I wear them when I'm reading. I wear them just in general because the noise canceling is like perfect. Like I literally don't hear anything else. So I'll be back in a few. Or should I just show you now? Why wait? You know, let me clean my room first. Then we'll do it. Fall staples. Maybe I should take these off. I'm like screaming. I'm not too good at like pants. I just get jeans from like Zara. I need to like get into more pants. If you have any like fall pants staples, I know what kind of pants I want. I just don't know where to get them. Shopping for pants for me is kind of hard. Tops and sweaters and stuff like that is fun. I was on ASOS the other day. They have a lot of stuff on there. So I got this sweater. It's so cute. It's from the brand Bershka. The sleeves are so cute. The bottom, I'm obsessed. It's really thick, but it's also like not too oversized. It's kind of like normal length. Oh, maybe a little bit oversized but i feel like a striped sweater is very in right now so definitely get yourself a striped sweater is this is literally one of my favorite purchases ever cardigans i got this one from h&m i have one in this color i have a black one a tan one i have another beige one like just some good cardigans you know you need layers in the fall this has become my favorite sweater like of all time this is from h&m too just like a big knit sweater a big oversized sweater is perfect get this in like literally every color i need to go get this in the tan quarter zips again h&m has such good stuff right now and they're so affordable so cheap i have this white one it's kind of like a knit it's really thick very heavy and comfy this one and the next one are from target they have so many colors it's also thick i got this in a large because i wanted it oversized yeah large pretty color very fall these zips are so fun too people like a high neck white shirt or black underneath and like you could see it and this little cardigan also from target perfect this also comes in black i think but i liked this color and i like that it has like this little collar thing back here going on and target is like so affordable too actually Low-key, they're getting more expensive, but like, this is like quality, you know? And then everyone just needs like staple little tees. So this one, oh, wait, I forgot where I got this, but this is my favorite one. This is a black one, little crop tee, and then I have this white one. This one's from Aritzia. They have the best basics other than H&M. This is the Wolfrig something, obsessed. Get it in every color and then get a long sleeve in every color and then get their sweatshirts in every color. <laughs> Hoodies, I steal my brother's. This is my brother's old polo one, I think. I get some random places, honestly. If we're talking about jackets, this is my new favorite jacket. It's like an oversized leather, like bomber jacket. When it's cold out, this is perfect. I put it over a sweatshirt, it's cute. Literally over anything, it's ASOS design. I also wear like puffer jackets, but that's like more winter, not really fall. But this, I've been wearing like a lot recently and I'm obsessed, so. Highly recommend favorite thing out of everything I have just shown you. Those are all of my fall basics that I've gotten recently that I've been wearing. It's just like pants I'm not very good at. Princess Polly has good jeans, but that's like kind of it. And then I wear like my linen pants, but these are from a boutique near me. Amazon has linen pants. Yeah, that's all I have for that. Morning is now over. I gotta go work. I think I had something else to tell you guys though. I've been filming a lot recently because I'm going away soon. So I'm like pre-filming. I just did a tier ranking video that was super fun that's coming soon. I'm filming something else that I can't really say. That's why I haven't shown you what I'm currently reading. So it's for a different video. Can't show you yet, but it's super fun. So I need to go like read that for that video. And then I asked you guys like on my Instagram story what videos you guys want. But if you guys don't follow me on there, let me know in the comments like any video ideas that you guys have. Because I post and like ask guys on my Instagram. But some people like don't have Instagram go on instagram which is fine because this is my youtube channel you guys watch me on here so if you have any video ideas let me know in the comments i got some good ones so i need to go plan the rest of the month and next month which is exciting i think that really is all for me i have nothing special to say those are what my mornings look like though i don't do my hair every day but i try to look presentable maybe some days yesterday i did not i literally didn't change my pajamas yesterday because i edited two videos from like i think it was 9 a.m and i finished like 8 p oh my god it was so long i don't know why it took me so i mean i do editing takes a while but like that was a rough one i'm gonna go clean my closet maybe i'll sell stuff usually i just donate i'm lazy but maybe i'll put some stuff up so check that out i think it's linked in the description that's all i got thank you guys for watching let me know if you have any other questions about really anything let me know in the comments so dm me my hair feels so clean right now it's like life-changing having clean hair can't wait to get it done on thursday i wonder what it's gonna look like i have no idea it's a surprise for everyone i hope you guys enjoyed my morning i have nothing else to say i just keep rambling always at the end of videos i just continue talking instead of ending it and i don't know why i do that i just keep talking i'm gonna go now have a great day thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed I will talk to you soon. <laughs> I will see you hopefully in the next one. <laughs> Goodbye.